welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my intro for the Handmaid's uh, Tail Project Pan. I always feel weird saying the Handmaid's Tail. <laughs> um, this project was created by Kim. She is here on YouTube and her channel is Teacher Loves Beauty. I'll have it in the description box below. And I uh, signed up for the project through Fantastic Ladies, the Facebook group that I belong to. Lots of panning projects, so many different uh, ideas, different ones. So I'll have the Facebook group in the description box as well. Uh, the project is nine months long. It was supposed to start on Thanksgiving Day, which was the 25th of November. I'm a couple of days late, but it's okay. And then it ends on uh, August 22 uh sorry august 25th 2022 uh the reason it starts on thanksgiving day is um because it's supposed it's a thanksgiving day is a reminder to be thankful for the life we have um and it ends nine months later because of the term of pregnancy if you don't know what the handmaid's tale um is about like the show or the books it's about um this country gilead where women cannot have children anymore only a certain group of women can and those are the handmaid's tales so being pregnant being fertile being able to get pregnant was you know a really important thing and uh yeah that's why um it's you know term of pregnancy is related to pregnancy that way i don't want to give away the pro the the show it's a really good show if you haven't seen it go ahead and check it out but um it's very touching it's a little depressing at, at times or a lot depressing at times, um, but it's a really good show, definitely worth trying or worth watching. Anyway, um, there are 10 prompts in the project. Uh, they're based on different characters from the show and the way that Kim, um, uh, uh, so she, la she related the products to uh, whatever the character is, is in the show. Hope I'm making sense. Um, the first product or uh, is for Alfred. Alfred is the main character in the show and uh, because she is fertile, she is considered to be an important commodity. I'm just reading what uh, Kim had said and uh, the way that she uh, translated those prompts. Um, so for Alfred, she said that you can use a product that is the most important in your routine. I had a couple things that I was going back and forth about, but I decided to go ahead and uh, pull in a uh, makeup cleansing balm. I, if I'm wearing makeup, I'm using a makeup cleansing balm. I, I, I double cleanse. I use a cleansing balm and then I follow it with like a, a cleanser. Uh, the one that I am going to go ahead and uh, use in this project is by Rodile and this is the Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. Uh, I do really like this one. My only complaint about it is the squeezy tube because the product in here is a little bit hard. So you got to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze to get the product out or like I have to really warm it in my hands and squeeze it out. Um, but it does a really nice job removing the makeup, uh, melting everything away, and then I go in with a second cleanser. So it does a really good job as a first cleanser. Um, I My plan for this guy is to go ahead and finish it all the way. Um, so I'm about halfway with it. I've used it before, so I know I do enjoy it. So I do want to finish it. And yeah, we'll, we'll be having monthly updates. That is if I don't forget that I have updates to do. <laughs> uh, the second uh, prompt in um, the second prompt for this project is the commander. He shows favor to Alfred and plays Scrabble with her at night. Um, and the way Kim translated that is a product whose title would give you the most points in the game Scrabble. I probably could have went around my collection and like makeup, beauty products and chose something that would give me more points. But I wanted to use something that I actually personally enjoy um, and I do want to use or use up. Um, I went with the Kate Somerville Exfoliate according to the word. I use the word exfoliate. So the word exfoliate would give me 24 points. If I'm not doing double or anything like that. Um, I do really enjoy this guy. You're supposed to use it one or two times a week. Um, I plan to use it once a week. There's nine months, four weeks um, per month. So I do want to use this guy 36 times. Um, I have used many minis of these, many different samples of these. And I do really enjoy them. But I have not used um, the big guy yet. Uh, I don't know if 36 times if it's going to be empty, close to being empty, halfway or what. Whatever comes first <laughs> would be my goal. Um, probably nine months to finish this guy up. Uh, I think I would be cutting it close. Probably will take me more than nine months to finish it. 
but I do want to do 36 uses on that product. Uh, the third prompt for this project is, Ser is Serena Joy. And um, Serena is sneaky and makes deals to try to save herself and offer it. Um, the way that can translate it that is a product that saves your makeup or beauty routine or look. I knew exactly what I was going to use for this because I love finishing powders. And the one that I really, really have been enjoying and I really want to get more use out of is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Um, I chose to use the shade number two. I have this guy in two shades. Um, I wanna work on shade number two. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very sheer. It's very, definitely glowy. Um, I Again, I do use it as a finishing powder. I go in with a big brush, pick up some product, buff it all over the face. Um, my goal is to hit pan on this guy. I think I probably can do it in nine months. Um, I do have a little tiny bit of side pan here. I'm not gonna count that though. I do wanna hit like new pan, like really see the baked pan, like the baking pan on here. Um, so yeah, I do really, really enjoy this product too. So I'm happy to be using it, to be including it in a project. Uh, number four is Nick. Nick is the commander chauffeur. Um, Serena Joy arranges for him to have a relationship with Alfred in order for her to be able to have a child. He and Alfred end up having a relationship that went way beyond Serena's wishes. Um, and uh, the way that Kim translated that is a product that drives you crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and work on my Pat McGrath Labs. <laughs> This guy, it definitely drives me crazy. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Concealer. This has been in projects for a while now. It goes on a project with the intent to finish it and I just never do it. Uh, I think I'm a little bit less than halfway down with it, which is probably gonna take me forever. I really, really, really enjoy it, but it drives me crazy, but it's like never ending. It is full coverage and you don't need a lot of it. So a little bit goes a very long way, which I think is why it just never ends. My goal is to finish it. It's going to stay in this project until this baby is done. Again, I do really enjoy it. I just got to do it. I got to finish it like this. I need this out of my collection. It's one of the older concealers that I have. It's pretty pricey, so I do want to get my money's worth. Um... Next, we have Moira. She is a close friend of Alfred since college. So the way Kim translated that, a product that is considered a close friend, one you love and wouldn't want to give up. Um, this is, <laughs> yeah, I went with uh, Pat McGrath Mascara, sub, what is it called? The Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is brand new, I just cut it today. Uh, this is in the shade Extreme Black. I think she only has these in ex Extreme Black. I love this mascara. I do really, really like it. Uh, I like it by itself. I like it layered with more of lengthening mascara. It definitely gives me the spidery lashes that I do really like. Um, I haven't tried her other one, like the one in the Golden Tube. Um, that's supposed to be even more spidery, but I have two more of these. Like I have this one and one more. I do really want to finish this guy. And typically it lasts me about three to four months to finish a mascara, like a full size mascara. So I know I can finish it in the project, but I definitely, there's no way that I would live without mascara, period. And this one, I just really enjoy it too. Uh, next is uh, Luke. Luke is Alfred's husband before the formation of Gilead. He was separated from her and ended up escaping to Canada. It's a product that you're considering separating yourself from or it's in, on the chopping block. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this foundation for that. This is by Zoeva. This is the Authentic Skin Natural Luminous Foundation. And I have it in the shade 140N Energetic. Um, I don't know what I think about it. I think this is something, this was a foundation that I had wanted to reuse, retest, and see what I think about it. See if I'm going to keep using it, decluttered or what. So it's like, perfect. I can just put this in the project. I plan on using this guy 20 times. I think 20 times is a good number like okay 10 time oh I keep going 10 or 20 10 or 20 I'm like 10 times maybe not enough let's do 20 um I do want to use it 20 times again if I find like if I'm using it and I feel like okay this is horrible I hate it I use it 10 times and I'm like I really don't like this I need to declutter it then I'll stop at 10 times but if I'm like hmm, 
this is actually enjoyable. I do enjoy it. I'm going to keep going with it until I hit 20 uses. So there's that one. Uh, next, we have Aunt Lydia. She is the trainer of the handmaids, uh, a product that you have to train yourself to use. Um, <laughs> this is definitely something that I had to train myself to use. And this is by, uh, this is a Christian Dior highlighter. It's actually a blush or so it was marketed as a blush, but this is definitely not a blush. This is the Rouge blush and the shade is Golden Nights. Um, this was holiday collection last year. I just, I fell in love with the embossment of it. It's so beautiful. Um, and I was like, okay, this will be a really nice highlighter. Um, the couple of times I use it just like this by itself, I'm like, what the heck is this? This is nothing. Um, but then I would spray my face with my setting spray and then go in with this guy and it just looks absolutely stunning. So basically I had to train myself to use it to make it look really, really pretty or the way that it's supposed to look. Um, this is also going to be a product that I'm going to use 20 times and then just, oh, be done, pull it out of the project. Um, so 20 uses for this guy. Next are flowers. Flowers are capable of blooming while women cannot. Um, a product with a flower name in the name, flower name in the name, or a product with flowers in it. I had to read that twice. Um, for that one, I went with a product that has flowers on it, like the packaging has flowers. This is by MAC. Um, this was like the Cherry Blossom collection. Uh, so I picked up a lip balm from that collection, and this is in the shade uh, Fleur Welcome. It's a glow play lip balm. It's beautiful. It, it really is a beautiful shade and I've used it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it all the way up. I do wanna use this guy up. I think I can use this lip balm in nine months. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, it's a really pretty shade. It's on the pinkish side. It has little shimmers in it, but the little shimmers do not show on the, on the lips. It's so pretty and I do wanna use it up. Um, I'll probably go ahead and mark it after I film the video. I'll mark it on a piece of paper and keep track of it marked that way. Um, but yeah, the, the goal for this one is to use it all the way up. Uh, no. Prompt number nine is the handmaid's red. The color of their uniform is symbolic of childbirth. It portrays sin. A product that you think was a sin to buy, something expensive or not needed. I do have many products like that in my collection, <laughs> but I went ahead with a blush. I'm going to work on the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate blush. This is newer to me, but I used it a couple times and I really enjoyed it. This is in the shade Cherry Blaze. I tend to hoard products that are really expensive. I just don't want to use them because I'm like, they're really expensive, but I'm just going to do it. Um, I, I do have a goal of using this guy 20 times, whether I use it like both shades together, one shade or the other shade. So every time I use either shades or both shades, it will be considered one time. I want to use this guy 20 times total. It is absolutely stunning, but definitely a sin. Did I need to buy it? No. Did I want to? Yes. And then the last item or the last prompt is the eyes. They serve to symbolize excessive, excessive watchfulness. They are always being watched by God. Um, a product that is used on the eyes. Ooh, this one. I've been waiting for like the perfect project for it. And I went ahead and pulled in, pulled in the Marc Jacobs uh, sequins. This is in the shade Topaz Flash. This is absolutely stunning. A really beautiful um, single shadow. I don't, yeah, this is so pretty. And it's just, every time I use this guy, or it's just, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a swatch of it. So this is, I picked up a little bit of the shadow and I'm just gonna swatch it real quick. Oh, this is a beautiful single shadow. Um, my goal for this one is to use it 10 times. I think I could do that in nine months. Once a month, use it. Um, it's so, so pretty. I don't want to be without it, so I don't want to like use it up, but I do want to use it. I do want to enjoy it. There you go. There you have it. This is my intro for uh, the Handmade Stale Project Pen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please go ahead and check out the description box for Kim's channel as well as the Facebook group if you're interested in signing up for this project or any other projects. 
I'll have that in the description box. Uh, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.